once again to those of you who ever watch me. So today I have these <coughs> LazFit LED turn signals and uh, they're supposed to have no polarity. They're uh, DC 12 volt and um, yeah, they're supposed to be anti hyper flash. So we're going to put them out and uh, see what it's about. See if it goes good. All right, here we are with my beautiful Ford Ranger. And uh, quick walk around. Beautiful. See if you can see it in the daylight. Yep. Hyper flash. And then we'll go to the other one. Also hyper flashing. We'll see if we can fix that with these LAS fits. Alright. <clears throat> so let's get our battery detached. Now, if I remember correctly, you just pull up this tab here and then pull up this one, I think, maybe. Of course, my plastic tab broke. Awesome. Take off both. And polarized. So, even I shouldn't be able to f*** this up. I mean, <clears throat> mess this up. This goes into that. And there. Let's do the same thing on this side and hopefully not break it again. Now, it may sound like I'm breaking something. Look at that. It's all peeling and crusty and a halogen. Let's put in the new one. Alright, now that we've got it in there, we we'll just stick it back in the hole. And twist. Alright, now, now that they're both in, I'm going to reattach the battery and uh, see if it worked. Hopefully it does, but uh, in case they don't, even though they're not blurry, sensitive. Um, I don't have the headlight housings put in all the way because uh, just in case I did it wrong or something or they don't work. All right, time to connect the battery. All right, let's not shock ourselves, hopefully. Let's 
Pop this on. All those crunchy noises. All right. And set this to the right way. Yeah. All right, time to tighten it down. All right, let's fire it up. See if uh, the blinker's still hyper flash. Need this, but lights. Let's check those first. Lights are still working. They are still hyper flashing, that's weird. And now there's that. Hmm. All right, so the cause of the f buzzing was on the new lights, these little terminal prong thingies, they were bent so close to the plastic bit that uh, they weren't making connection. So it was causing the, uh, the buzzing. So that's fixed, but the lights still hyper flash when you turn on the turn signals. So that's fun. After fiddling around with it for some, uh, still hyper flashes, but now at least it's not doing that buzzing anymore. And uh, both blinkers work. Let's check it out. Well, it's definitely much brighter. And the uh, halogens. both work and these are uh, switchbacks so they are white in between the flashes but of course it's still hyper flashing so you wouldn't be able to tell Let's see if it, it's easier to tell this way but yeah so those are the last fit uh, these are uh, these are the last for LED turn signal switchbacks. Um, I'll put up on screen which ones those are. But yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer that it still hyper flashes, but I'm sure that might have to do with uh, the other lights. Uh, let's go check this out again. So we got LED, LED with a driver that I'm not sure about, and then we got the turn signal, or the, sorry, the amber side markers. So this is the turn signal right here that we just switched out. Let's see, let's see. So running lights will be the ones that we just fixed, or switched. And those are white LEDs, as you can see. That's the switchback function. You can actually see it. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of see it. And we've also got the side markers. So those are running lights. <sighs> Again, I don't know exactly 
what the problem is with the uh, voltage difference because it should should be working at a regular pace with the with the drivers but uh, more to follow.